Transitioning between maps is fairly straightforward. First, make sure you have two maps to move between. Next, decide whether you want the transition to be activated by either Hero Touch or Hero Action. Hero Touch will make you move between maps automatically once you step on the event object tile. Hero Action will only trigger when the player presses the action key while next to the event object, such as for doors. To start, select the object tool above the editor window. Now you can either double click or right click and select new to make the object that will transition the player. In the events property, change Hero Action to Hero Touch. Now right click in the blank section of the window and select new. While in the staging tab, Select Teleport Object. Make sure the options for Object ID are Selection and Hero. In the Position option, press Select. A preview window should appear, allowing you to select where you want to teleport to. Use the WASD keys to move the cursor to the area you want to teleport to. Then press OK. Keep hitting OK until you've closed all the object windows. Your object tile should now be ready to use. If you want more than one tile to be able to teleport the player, Simply copy the event object and paste as many duplicates as you need. Repeat the steps you just did on the connecting map, but edit the teleport location to bring the player back to the first map. To make it so this method can be used for going indoors, change the object's event from Hero Touch to Hero Action. Bear in mind that this video only gives the bare minimum for how to transition between maps. Experiment with changing the screen tone and using sound events to make your gameplay more immersive. A quick addendum. In a previous video I stated the Practicable tab and Directions tabs were used to prevent characters and NPCs from walking through or over sprites. This was half true. The Practicable tab is used only for sprites that you make 3D, such as trees, shrubs, or standing grass. The Directions tab is only for sprites that you make with the Floor tool, such as flat grass, dirt, or water. I apologize for any confusion I may have caused. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel or leaving a comment down below. This has been Sid from Digital Container, and I hope to see you next time.